Well, hey, YouTube and tech friends, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. Today on this episode, we're going to show you how to download the new Python version 3.11 and upgrade your Windows computer. Let's get started. So here on the screen, we can see that we have the Python website up. If you don't know what that is, go to python.org. Now, this is a recently released version. It's very new, and I've installed it, and it works very well. So if you go to Downloads, we're going to download the version for Windows. Remember, you can also do this on your Mac and your Linux computers. So if we go to Download, we're going to stick this in our Downloads folder here. Downloads, we'll just stick it in here. Tons of stuff in there, of course. Probably just like your computer, right? So we go ahead and download the new Python. Now oh, that was pretty quick. We already have it downloaded. All we have to do then is go ahead and we're going to show it in the folder here just to show you that there it is. Python 3.11.0. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Let me uh, get some of these windows out of the way here. Well, I think so. let me get this window out of the way. Let's get this window, that window out of the way. Uh, nope, doesn't want to do that. All right, we're going to go ahead and run it. Now let me get that window of the way. Let's drop my virtual machine window. And here it is, Python 3.11. It's always great to get a new version of our programming language. So we're going to install it, and it's going to install it into the local uh, app data folder here. Uh, obviously, you can change that and install it. You can do a custom install, install it wherever you want. I like to put it in. It also says add Python ex add Python exe to the path. Always do that here. A lot of people have been emailing me saying, hey, Jack, look, I installed it. Now I have to update my variables. I don't like to do all that extra work. So what I do is I allow Python installer to do it for me. So there we go. We're going to click on install now. Say, yep, we're going to allow that to do that. And we're going to go ahead and start the install process. So it will start installing here in just a second, I hope. There it goes. We're going to install the new Python. And you don't have to uninstall the old Python. A lot of people have been contacting me say, Jack, when I upgrade, do I have to install the old one? You don't have to. Just go ahead and install the brand new one and just move on with it. Now, when you are in your VS Code or any other text editor you may be using, you're going to have to make sure you select the new interpreter, right? The, uh, the Python 3.11 to be your new Python interpreter. Because if you open up your VS Code and you still have 3.10 point, uh, point, whatever the last one was, 10.4 maybe, it's going to be loaded in there. So we're going to want to go ahead and change that. Other than that, it's really a no-nonsense uh, install. It works very well, and I'll show you how to check it once it comes up here to make sure you do have it loaded. So it added to the, the path. It said, hey, good. And this says here, disable path length limit. Uh, changes your machine configuration to allow programs, including Python, to bypass the 260-character max path limitation. I select that. And I say, yep, I want to go ahead and do that and allow that to make that change to my computer. Once you do that, simply click on the close button. We're going to go ahead now and click the start button here. And we're going to type CMD. And we're going to open up our command window. Here's our command window. Python is in fact loaded. So if I just type Python, it's going to show you now Python 3.11.0. It was just recently released October 24th. You can see it right here, October 24th, 2022. So now we do have the brand new Python installed on our Windows computer. Again, it's the same routine if you're going to put it on Linux. If you're going to put it on your Macs, it's the same routine to install this software. So folks, I hope this video was beneficial to you. And I know a lot of you are watching my Python series. A lot of you like the... Um, the uh, virtual environment series, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy, and I want to bring you more content, interesting content, and stuff that you're going to want to watch, so stay with me, subscribe to this channel, Jack's Tech Corner, also known as 42 Techno Man, I started that at a very, very long time ago, when I was 42 years old, which, as you can see by the gray beard, that was a while ago. 
Folks, thank you so much for watching. Please return for more Python uh, series here, as well as Windows Server 2022 series that I'm working on. And I hope that you enjoy the content. Please leave a comment below and let me know how I'm doing. Thank you very much. And I will talk to you next time. I'll see you later from Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.